Alrighty folks, as you guys can see right now, this is a really small clip of me being in front of a green screen and I'm going to show you guys exactly on this clip how to remove the green screen, how to remove the background, how to add in another background. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to remove the green screen, how to remove the background, how to add in another background, how you want to call this. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that with just using a really small clip that I recorded in front of the green screen right now, because right now if I do this, as you can see right now, I'm just sitting in front of a green screen, but if I do this again, the green screen is gone. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to remove the green screen and how to add in another background. It's going to be really simple. Make sure to smash that like button down below and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right here, we have a clip of mine sitting in front of a green screen just talking a little bit. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to remove the background. Now I want to mention that you need to sit in front of a green screen and that green screen has to be lit well enough. I have huge lamps you know, above me that are lighting this green screen very well and sometimes you know there are a little bit of wrinkles but that is, isn't really a problem for the editing software uh, Vegas 15 if you have some wrinkles that doesn't really matter but yeah if you have if you have some really dark spots like right here or below that's gonna cause a little bit of distortion but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to minimize that as well so I would say let's get started so as you can see right now in this video this is just me sitting and I'm going to first of all I'm going to add in a little bit more of brightness and contrast I'm gonna go to video effects brightness and contrast this guy and I'm going to pick a preset on the made videos as you can see it spices up the video quite a bit and the green is also a little bit more pure so what I'm going to do then the next thing it's it's so simple guys the only thing you need to do is go to chroma key and then you want to just drag in the default one on top of the clip now as you can see right now this already is not really looking that the background is gone so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in a solid color underneath myself so you guys will see that the background will disappear so what let's say that I'm going to add in a solid color and let's pick uh, the color blue so as you can see if I drag that if the, the blue image uh, underneath my clip as you can see right here I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to delete the background so if I go ahead and uncheck chroma key for a second what you want to do is click on this little box this little colored bar that's probably blue in your case then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little you know pencil icon and we're gonna select a nice green part like this as you can see that looks really cool if we enable the chroma key not this one if we enable the chroma key this like this as you can see everything turns blue but I'm gonna go ahead and disable the, the chroma key and I'm going to pick a little bit more brighter this one if I now check the chroma key as you can see it is not really looking that optimized as well so what I'm going to do is we're gonna mess around a little bit more with the low threshold the higher threshold and not really with the blur amount so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring up the low threshold until we're happy with it in this case it needs to be a zero the high threshold we're gonna drag that guy down and as you can see right now the background starts to disappear if I bring up the high threshold we see a nice uh, background well just a blue background and if I bring up the uh, the low threshold that will actually like fix you know the the edges and stuff so if I mess around a little bit more with uh, the background and stuff with the low and the high threshold just make sure that they're actually just optimized and if I play back the video as you guys can see right now this is just me sitting in front of a green screen the background is just blue and that's how amazing it is and obviously if I remove the blue it is just going to be completely pitch black now if you drag in a red background it is going to be the same deal it's going to be red if I will drag in an orange background it will be orange it will be it, it is just the same thing for everything and let's say that you want to drag in a nice image for let's say like a C as you can see right now boom there is the C behind me now if you let's say that you want to have like to remove those kind of black parts we're gonna go back to the uh, FX uh, tab and then we're gonna just mess around a little bit more with the low threshold until they're completely gone so that's the only thing you need to do guys just make sure that everything is just looking fine and that there are no you know like black edges like this just make sure to just you know optimize it a little bit more and then this is how to do it guys this is how you add in a black or, or any background basically 
and that's how to do it. So I want to thank guys for watching. This is basically how to create or how to remove the background. So I want to thank guys for watching. Thank you for the support. This is how to use a green screen in, in Vegas 15. It is that simple. So I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial. That's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.